I'm Rosanna from Ideal Productions and today I'm here at the Inces Hall for the rehearsals of Mrs. Gibraltar Classic 2022. Shall we go and have a little chat with them? Follow me. Hello, Susan. Hello, Rosanna. So tell me, why did you enter Mrs. Gibraltar Classic? Well, I thought it would be an opportunity that would give me, um, would help boost my confidence and obviously um, at this age I think we all need uh, that and also because I feel that is something that I didn't do when I was younger so I thought that now would be a good timing because I've got more time in my hands. And how about your experience? Well, the experience is been, I was thinking about that one yesterday, last night, when I got home after rehearsals, and I was trying to put into words, and I made some notes, and one of them was the bonding with the girls, the ladies, it's been fantastic, and secondly was coming out of my comfort zone, totally, totally, and obviously it's a very good exercise, which comes good uh, with his age, really. <laughs> would you recommend this experience? I would highly recommend it, Rosanna, because I believe that uh, life is what you make of it, and uh, obviously there's always time to enjoy it, and we'll make the most of it as we're here. Hello, Adeline. Hello, Rosanna. So tell me, why did you enter? I decided to enter to come out of my comfort zone and live a totally new experience, which I'm loving. How has your experience been? The experience has been amazing. Um, I really enjoy every part of it, from the routines, learning how to pose, how to walk, everything. Would you recommend it? Absolutely, yes. It's, it's, something, it's an experience I feel that every woman uh, should live. Uh, it's never too late. And yes, absolutely, I will recommend. Well, I am actually already. Hello, Isabella. Hello, Rosanna. Why did you enter? Well, Rosanna, I tell you, at the spur of the moment, I decided to go for it. I tell you why. I was married. I was married at 17 years old because I come from a very religious. And those days. Don't forget my age. In those days, if you had a boyfriend, you had to get married. Anyway, I did. And so I missed my chance of going into Miss Gibraltar. And then when this happened, I thought, well, this is going to be my dream. I'm going to go for it. And this is me, 54 years later. How has your experience been? It's been amazing, amazing. I tell you, I don't know how fully I can recommend this to, to ladies to go for it. You've been pampered and challenged and hard work. You know, the rehearsals are hard work. But if that's what you want to do, go for it. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Rosanna. So tell me, why did you enter Mr. Broughton? I entered Mr. Broughton Classic for my little girl, Lay Sahara. She's 10 years old. And I've, for 10 years, I've always called her my little princess. And she refers to me as her queen. So um, she's coming to the show, she's going to watch it, and if I can make my daughter happy, that's, that's everything for me. How have your experience been so far? Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Entering this show has not only given me confidence, uh, it's brought me out of myself. I've met some wonderful, wonderful women that are also, you know, on this journey with me. I'm having a terrific time, thank you. Would you recommend I would highly recommend entering. I would definitely enter uh, to step out of your comfort zone, uh, give yourself some uh, time, quality time away from your normal routine, away from your family, away from your children and concentrate just on you. Hello Sharon. Hi Rosanna. So tell me Sharon, why did you enter? Classic, something I've always wanted to do. I think in my younger years you're not as confident or you're a bit more, I shouldn't know, could I, can I? So it got to, you get to an age I think where you think, you know, why not? 
it. It makes you feel good. You're out with makeup, getting dressed up. What more? What more could a woman want? So, how has your experience? It's been an amazing experience. Uh, we've had great ten girls. Uh, we've all laughed, joked, giggled. Uh, yeah, the routines have been fun. One day someone would make a mistake in the week someone else and it was just it's been a great experience it's something I'd never ever thought I'd do but I'm so glad I did absolutely I think when you get to a certain age 50 plus um, I think why not you know it's a great opportunity in Gibraltar to actually represent something so good and you know, um, yeah, absolutely, definitely recommend it. Yeah, it's been fun. Yeah. Hello, Leanne. Hi. Why did you enter? Um, the honest answer is there, there was no particular reason that I felt. Um, however, I always think there's a, there's a reason why things happen. And there was something in me that was saying, Leanne, this is something you need to do for yourself um, and, and to have this experience. So um, that, that's my reason. How has your experience been? Um, it's been an amazing experience. Um, I am, uh, yeah, incredibly pleased that I did enter um, to, to go through all the different um, experiences, the wellness, the fitness, the routines, the friends. Um, yeah, it's been an amazing experience. Would you recommend this experience? Absolutely I would. Uh, it's a lot of commitment. Um, I don't think I realised what, what, how long the, the commitment would be, but um, yes, it's worth every second of it. So yeah, absolutely I would recommend it. Hello, Rosanna. Hello, Rosanna. So tell me, why did you enter the Mr. Gibraltar? Well, I entered because I thought it was my time to enter. Because when I was young, I was a bit shy, a bit timid. And I thought, well, why not this year? I'm a 63, I'll have gone for it. How has your experience been? The experience has been fantastic. I've loved the charity work. I've loved the walks we've done. I've loved uh, meeting all the new contestants, which are beautiful ladies. And everything else, rehearsals, been great. Would you recommend this experience to any other ladies? I think they should all or join it in because it's something that gives you more confidence and more dependence than you're in your own person and I think it's the most it's the best thing I've done for myself really. Hello Conchi. Hello Rosanna. So tell me why did you enter? A number of reasons. Uh, one is because I like a challenge. I wanted to try something new. I think Ideal Productions had an amazing idea. Uh, giving an opportunity to women over the age of 50 uh, to be represented in a field where it's not the norm. Uh, you're supposed to follow a certain pattern of things after a certain age and they thought outside the box and that's one of the reasons I entered. And how has your experience been? Amazing. The thing that I've learned the most from is all the charities we've been involved in. Uh, some of the charities are that are less visible um, have amazed me the amount of people volunteering and also the teamwork, working with all the ladies and making new friends. Would you recommend this? Definitely, 100%. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity and it's something that I will treasure forever, this experience. Hello, Nia. Hello, Rosanna. So tell me, why did you enter? Oh, why did I enter? Because yes, last year I was turning 60. So I was just wondering what to do. And I always take in the challenges in my life. So I thought when I saw this ad, and uh, then I, I just have faith and I jumped in. And how was your experience? Oh, my experience had been very amazing. It's an amazing experience and so it's like, a, I never would thought like a, there's a, the mentors and then fellow contestants and it's amazing. It's, I'm top of the <laughs> moon, you can say that. Would you recommend this experience? To yes, definitely, definitely. Because uh, somebody recommend me also. 
she was in 2016, she's taken part. Then she said, just go for it, the theme is too good. You are not going to lose anything and you are going to have a good experience. So just go for it. So I just followed her guidance also. Hello, Angela. Hi, Rosanna. So tell me, why did you enter this project? I entered because um, I was just scrolling through Facebook and I saw the campaign and I jokingly said, oh look, here's for the over 50s, um, maybe I'll join. But at that moment, I just thought, you know what? Why not, you know? Um, something I never envisaged doing, something I never thought about doing, but something exciting, a challenge, and I think more than anything, to show my daughter, you can do anything at any age. And how has your experience been? Oh, Rosanna, this is where I could talk all day. I have loved every second of everything we have done. It's beyond all my expectations. I didn't have any to begin with. I have loved it. I've loved the group of women we've worked with, the production team, every experience we've had. It's been amazing. It's been life-changing. Would you recommend this experience? One million percent. I have a bank of women already recruited. <laughs> A lot of girls I know, I'm already saying, you need to come forward for next year. You, this will, you will love every minute of it. It's been amazing. First I was afraid, I was petrified Kept thinking I could never live without you by my side But I spent all so many nights thinking how you did me wrong But I grew strong, I don't know to get it
put your hands together for Mrs. Gibraltar Classic 2021, Jacqueline Primeiro. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Mrs. Gibraltar Classic 2021, Jacqueline Primeiro. Contestant number one, Susan Mojio, sponsored by Castiel Windsor. Contestant number one, Susan Mojio, sponsored by Castiel Windsor. Contestant number two, Adelaide Magliendo, sponsored by 1704 Morocco Finest Products. Contestant number two, Adelaide Magneto, sponsored by 1704 Morocco Final Product. Contestant number three, Isabella Edge, sponsored by SFA Cubs. Contestant number three, Isabella Edge, sponsored by SFA Cubs. Contestant number four, Michelle Manning, sponsored by Janet Hair and Beauty. Contestant number four, Michelle Manning, sponsored by Janet Hair and Beauty. Contestant number five, Sharon Davis, sponsored by Unco. Contestant number five, Sharon Davis, sponsored by Amco. Contestant number six, Leanne Beresford, sponsored by Sovereign Pension Services, Gibraltar Limited. Contestant number six, Leanne Beresford, sponsored by Sovereign Pension Services, Gibraltar Limited. Contestant number seven, Roxana McGillivray, sponsored by Jim Tavern. Contestant number seven, Roxana McGillivray, sponsored by Jim Tavern. Contestant number eight, Roxy Bird, sponsored by OSG. Contestant number eight, Sponchy Bird, sponsored by OSG. Contestant number nine, Neha Rubani, sponsored by Urban Comfort and Town Store. Contestant number nine, Neha Rubani, sponsored by Urban Comfort and Town Store. Last but not least, contestant number 10, Angela Flamenco, sponsored by Trent Gibraltar.
the stage our 10 lovely contestants to formally introduce themselves. Give them a round of applause. Okay. 
very well known height and fashion designer and don't forget to come on board for her exclusive handmade custom dictation. She's not only a local celebrity from the high fashion industry, but is also the owner of Miss Thick Rose Richard, alongside the daughter. She is Rose Roman. <laughs> Next, we have Director of Sales and Marketing at the Sunboy Yacht Hotel in Gibraltar. She's currently working in Gibraltar for over six years, and her passion is to take care of rescue dogs. She's not, she, sorry, she not only promotes Gibraltar's unique beauty as a, as a leisure destination, but also holds business meetings and conference for corporate all around Europe. So please welcome Greta White. <laughs> and the chairperson, she's been with the beauty industry since 2004 and is a qualified beauty consultant. Mariangelis would also like to add that it's not only beauty but also is a honor for her to be living her experience as Mrs. Schroeser represents beauty with purpose. So she, she is Marie Angeles Franco. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Last but not least, we've got a adjudicator for tonight who will be Stephanie Balisset. Okay, so a bit of entertainment now. And we are good, uh, believers of first chances. And tonight we have a young lady with a brilliant voice, and it will be her first time on stage. So please give a welcoming applause to JD Paquetto.
Danit Faitin has actually sat in the front of the live audience. Please give an extra round of Okay, that's it. As you know, our shows are all about empowering women. So the next routine, we have actually made the women empowered routine. So, let the music roll. Hot 
contestant number four, Michelle Manning, sponsored by Janice Hair of Beauty. Contestant number five, Sharon Davis, sponsored by Upco. Certified holistic wellness coach who has been coaching our 10 contestants together with Nairi Turner Robinson, who is a drama therapist. So, Bianca, please come to the stage in the Haiti for this. And this has a very Thank In the video, you can see the therapy sessions that we've had. Bianca, hi. Hi. Is it like me? A little bit. Okay, Bianca, so for the general public, what is exactly holistic well-being approach and what you've done with the ladies for this month? Okay, so um, we've done a wellness program for a few months and within that program we've done a few workshops, we've done an introduction to wellness, we've done some stuff um, based on anxiety and stress, gave them some coping mechanisms. Um, I, love, I work a lot with Nairi who does a lot of playful um, exercises with them, so it relaxes them and it brings them out of the shell as well. Um, and it's very therapeutic. We've also done some workshops on loneliness and connection. We've done some meditation. We've done loads of different tools. Today, I've been with them all afternoon. We've done um, some, I'm working on performance anxiety and performance excitement so they get excited and feel a bit less nervous for today. So it's basically, it's been about making them feel whole, making them feel, them feel um, well balanced, that's what wellness is about. Being balanced and being good in yourself. Okay, so that's very good for the contestants. Thank you. Thank you. So Bianca, uh, anything to say? No, um, just to say that last night I was watching the dress rehearsal and I really enjoyed it. It's been a great show, so we are in for a good ride. And to all the girls, best of our luck. We have really enjoyed working with you with you guys. So thank you for um, having us. Um, I remember last year we did a, um, something very good about the fashion, about how people are. Uh, well, we were talking about connection and the connection, and we were talking about people who are batteries, they give you energy, and then we have the people who are vacuums, who are going to tell people who drain your energy and give some negative advice. So, how to work with those, and we we role played, and some of us played as a vacuum, and some of us as battery. So, now I'm stopping the vacuum. So thank you, thank you for coming on stage.
reasons. When people say pageantry and it's just coming up onto the stage and everything, it takes a lot for people, both males and females, to come to stage and do what they do. Especially when at that age, they be really brave, they be really, they don't complain about anything, they've gone forward and done everything that they've asked for them. So please give the contestants and the young and Irene a big round of applause. Introduce my next act. I would like to say happy birthday to Nancy. She's a very close friend, she's gonna hate me for it, but happy birthday. Happy birthday! And the next act is a present for you. You'll enjoy it. Okay, so I'll be serious now, get back to the script. Uh, we are an inclusive organization, and as such, we have an open mind, especially when it comes to entertainment. Our next act will definitely surprise a few. Please welcome onto the stage the Lady Crew performing to Like Like to One Night Only. Hello. Nothing's enough, there's enough, can't 
go on, I can't go on no more now Enough is enough I want him now, I want him out the door now Here's enough, enough, here's enough I want him now, I want him out the door now And now to move our heads a little bit, ladies and gentlemen Thank you very much. Ah, thank you guys, have a great, great evening. And I'll see you somewhere outside. I'll give it up for the lady crew. Thank you very much, lady crew. So this year, this is your Volta Classic winner. We represent the Volta at the Business University Classic held in the capital of Bavaria, Sofia, on the 18th of January. In just four days' time, so no time to this. Yeah. As in all and as well. As in all international competition, there will be three categories. The national costume, the talent round, and the evening round. And in this aspect, all the ladies are more than prepared for it. So, let's wish a lot to everyone. Oh my God. Now, back to the show. Next up, we've got the women with the purpose routine. So, I'll call up the ladies on stage. Got the stage all yours. Ladies, take it away. Thank you. 
Young generation today. 
Well, I believe that the biggest problem is bullying, and among other things, uh, social media. And obviously, um, I believe that if we all pull together as parents and in school and education, we'll be able to, to eliminate the problem for the youth. Thank you. And let's go, Contest and Hamilton, and the Italian Gold Sponsor. best way to empower women? I think that the best way to empower women is to encourage them to take part in forums like this one, right? um, to believe in themselves, to do everything that makes them feel happy, and um, never stop dreaming. Welcome, contestant number three, Isabella A, sponsored by Isabella A. Thank you, Isabella. choose your question, Isabella. Please go ahead. at 17 years old, and straight after that, uh, Mr. Bolton came out, so I lost my opportunity. And now, 54 years later, there I am. If I could go back in time, I would tell myself to slow down. I think when I was seven, I wanted to be 12. When I was 12, I wanted to be 18. When I was 18, I wanted to be 25. Now I'm 53, and I do not want to carry on. I just want to go back. Many people believe beauty pageants degrade them. What would you say to them? Thank 
Thank you very much. 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 Would you say Mrs. Gibraltar Classic has a responsibility to be a positive role model? Most definitely, Mark, yes. Um, she's going to have to represent Gibraltar both at home and abroad um, and be a positive role model to the younger generation as well as other women. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, is candidate number seven, Rosanna McGillivray, and she's sponsored by Jim Carver. <laughs> Sam, are the youth of this generation more pressured to perform than the youth of previous generations? I don't think there's any pressure because I have all this internet and, and all these things at school, you know. But um, in my time, it's more more pressure because we didn't have the internet, we didn't have anything else. And yes, I do. I don't know if I said that right. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> Thank you, Rosanna. We have contested num contested number eight. Good evening, Good evening, Good evening, Good evening, everybody. I'm having a nice time. I am having a fabulous time. How would you balance the title with your daily obligations? Well, I would balance it as I've been doing in the last few months, um, balancing work. I have had my sponsors OSG being very kind and letting me attend the functions that I had to, and I'm sure they would carry on doing it, or I was grant. They would let, let me say no then, wouldn't they? <laughs> so, yeah, I think I can balance it. Thank you. Contestant number nine, Neha Rupani, and she's sponsored by Urban Comfort and Town Stores. Welcome, Neha. Are you having fun? Yes, definitely. You should taste her cooking, it's amazing. Has the speed of technology advances taken away our emotional connection? I don't think so. But uh, uh, maybe yes, maybe. Because technology is giving us so much uh, of uh, advantage also. I guess I don't, I don't think I feel like if the people are in your room, but they are not talking to you. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Naya. Thank you, Naya. Thank you, Neha. And finally, contestant number 10, Angata Verso, and she is sponsored by Frank Gibraltar. We always have an extra in case somebody says anything. 
we have two more envelopes because we're going to keep an extra one because it's not fair for the final contestant to have limited to the one envelope. There's nothing dodgy on it. I promise. Okay, Angela, what have you learned from pageantry? Well, Mark, apart from a whole lot of moves, a whole lot of discipline, a whole lot of motivation, a whole lot of commitment, I have learned that when a wonderful group of ladies come together, it really is what empowering women is all about. Thank you, Angela. Thank you, Angela. Thank you, Okay. Thank you, Jody, for tonight. Before Jody leaves, I would just want to mention Jody will be leaving at the end of the month. She will be representing us at the Mrs. Universe, so we want to wish on behalf of Ivy Production the best of luck. Okay, and while Jody can join down, just to say that um, a friend of mine says that I'm very good looking with this outfit. Good well, looking outfit. As, as you know, the whole outfit, including shoes, are from Trent Travolta. That said, the ladies, I think, have worked enough for the first part, so we we'll give them a break. We'll see you back in 10 minutes. Okay, so welcome to part two. And this is the part that really the audience and the ladies look forward to. And that is the evening round. Be amazed by the beauty. Please welcome contestant number one. Susan Bohio, sponsored by Castiel Windsor. Contestant number one, Susan Bonio, sponsored by Castiel Windsor. Contestant number one, Susan Bohio, sponsored by Castiel Winter. Please welcome contestant number two, Adelaide Baglietto, sponsored by 1704, Morocco Finest Product. Contestant number two, Adelaide Baglietto, sponsored by 1704, Morocco Finest Products. Contestant number two, Adelaide Daniello, sponsored by 1704, Morocco Finest Products. Contestant number three, Isabella Edge, sponsored by SFA Pub.
contestant number three, Isabella Edge, sponsored by SFA Pops. Contestant number three, Isabella Edge, sponsored by SFA Pop. Contestant number four, Michelle Manning, sponsored by Janice Hair and Beauty. Contestant number four, Michelle Manning, sponsored by Janice Herman Beauty. Contestant number four, Michelle Manning, sponsored by Janice Heron Beauty. Contestant number five, Sharon Davis, sponsored by Unco. Contestant number five, Sharon Davis, sponsored by Umgo. Contestant number five, Sharon Davis, sponsored by Umco. Contestant number six, Leanne Ferrisford, sponsored by Sovereign Pension Services, Gibraltar Limited. Contestant number six, Leanne Beresford, sponsored by Sovereign Pension Services, Gibraltar Limited. Contestant number six, Leanne Beresford, sponsored by Sovereign Pension Services, Gibraltar Limited. Contestant number seven, Rosanna McGilvery, sponsored by Jim Cargo.
contestant number seven, Gossana McGilvery, sponsored by Jim Cargo. Contestant number seven, Rosanna McGilvery, sponsored by Jim Cargo. <laughs> Contestant number eight, Conchi Bird, sponsored by OSG. Contestant number eight, Dodgy Bird, sponsored by OSG. Contestant number eight, Conchi Bird, sponsored by OSG. Contestant number nine, Neha Rubani, sponsored by Earth and Comfort and Town Stores. Contestant number nine, Neha Rubani, sponsored by Earth and Comfort and Town Stores. Contestant number nine, Neha Rubani, sponsored by Urban Comfort and Town Stores. And last but not least, contestant number ten, Angela Traverso, sponsored by Trans Gibraltar. Contestant number 10, Angela Traverso, sponsored by Trent Gibraltar. Contestant number 10, Angela Traverso, sponsored by Trans Gibraltar. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for our reigning Mrs. Gibraltar Classic 2021, Jacqueline Ribeiro. Good evening. I am Jacqueline Ribeiro. Being crowned as the first Mrs. Gibraltar Classic 2021 seems like a dream to me. And tonight, I am about to close this beautiful chapter in my life. It has truly been a memorable year, filled with adventures, challenges, growth, and smiles. I am extremely grateful to all the people who have stood by me throughout this journey. 
Thank you to everyone at Adil Productions. Angel, Mark, Denise, who have been there every single step of the way. To my husband, Philip, family and friends, for all your possible support. To the lucky lady who will this evening get to wear the crown and enjoy each moment, every second, and everybody you need. This will be a once in a lifetime experience that you will take with you forever. To all those ladies who are with you, I encourage you to sign up for this budget. You will have an amazing and wonderful experience. It's never too late to follow your dreams. And mine came true when I was found Mrs. Ford's Classic 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage the 2022 Mrs. Gibraltar Classic Contestants. Ladies and gentlemen, and binary and non binary guests, please give a big round of applause for Jacqueline Ribeiro, Mrs. Chipotle Classic 2021. <laughs> Judges, this is the last time you will see the ladies on stage before your deliberations. So, contestant number one, Susan Foglio, sponsored by Christian Winter. Contestant number two, Adelaide Magneto, sponsored by 1704 Morocco Finest Products. Contestant number three, Isabella Edge, sponsored by SFA Club. Contestant number four, Michelle Manning, sponsored by Janice Heron Beauty. Contestant number five, Sharon Davis, sponsored by Welcome. Contestant number six, Leanne Ferrisford, sponsored by Sovereign Pension Services, Gibraltar Limited. Contestant number seven, Rosanna McGillery, sponsored by Jim Pago. Contestant number eight, Dodgy Bird, sponsored by OSG. Contestant number nine, Nehru Mani, sponsored by Earth and Comfort and Sam Ford. And contestant number 10, Angela Traveso, sponsored by Trent Gibraltar. Okay, didn't they look beautiful? Amazing, honestly. Okay, it's time for the judges to leave the auditorium to deliberate and decide who will be our next Mistress Brawlter Classic and who will be her princesses. Good luck judges, yours is a difficult decision. Okay. While the judges are leaving and, deliber and deliberate, the ladies take a breather. Let's have some entertainment. As you all may have gathered, tonight's theme result relates to the 80s and 90s era. And our next act to have a perfect fix. So sing along if you know the song. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Renditions.
No one told you that was gonna be this way Just a joke you broke, you love that COA It's like you're always stuck in second gear When it hasn't been your day, you will be moving up even your year
Thank you so much. Give it up for renditions. I'm just exhausted just by seeing them singing and running around. Okay, so thank you, renditions. It's been amazing. It's, uh, memories from times gone by. I see the judges are back. I think it's the first time ever that we've clocked it right there. Welcome back, judges. Thank you, judges. So hopefully, decisions have been made. But before we continue, we have to mention and thank those that have made this show possible. Angel, over to you. Yeah. We'd like to thank the sponsors, and that is Star India, May for a Main, A and C Fitters Limited, Quick Fit, YGTV, Ocean Medical Clinic, Aphrodite Beauty, and also a very big mention to our 10 lady sponsors. Thank you, sponsors. We also want to mention to GBC, we want to take a special mention, make a special mention for the, for the interest. So please stay tuned for what's coming up. Before we carry on, I think the most important people to thank on this night, and every year we do this, is our team. They are volunteers who get the time to help us out and provide a show that is worthy of Gibraltar standards. So please give my team, our team, a big round of applause. Okay, so that said, let's welcome our 10 beautiful contestants back on stage. Contestant number one, Susan Bohio, sponsored by Christian Winter. Contestant number two, Adelaide Daniego, sponsored by 1704, Morocco Finest Product. Contestant number three, Isabella Egg, sponsored by SMT Cups. Contestant number four, Michelle Manning, sponsored by Janice Hair and Beauty. Contestant number five, Sharon Davis, sponsored by Upco. Contestant number six, Leanne Beresford, sponsored by Sovereign Pension Services, Gibraltar Limited. Contestant number seven, Rosanna McGilvery, sponsored by Jim Cargo. Contestant number eight, Gonchi Bird, sponsored by OSG. Contestant number nine, Leha Rubani, sponsored by Earth and Comfort and Town Source. Last but not least, contestant number 10, Angela Gravenzo, sponsored by Trends to Gibraltar. Please welcome onto the stage the Honourable Edwin Pleasure, Shadow Minister for Culture, for our special choice board. Good evening, Mr. Hellers. Thank you for joining us once again. Thank you for back in the year. Lovely to have you back. Loops and I've got small hands. Okay, the first award is a public vote, and that goes to Leanne Bersford. Bersford, contestant number five. Sponsored by Cyber Pension Services. So there you go, Leanne Burswood, and she's been the public vote. There you have it, a public vote award. Contestant number six, Leanne Beresford. Sponsored by Sovereign Pension Services, Gibraltar Limited. Congratulations, Leanne. Okay, okay, for the next award, we would like to ask Natalie 
Frank to come on to stage. She's been helping out the ladies throughout, yes, and she's going and she's going to represent us, Gibraltar, for the finals at the Miss Voluptuous. Yes? Okay, UK. July in, in UK. So the friendship award goes to Isabella Edge. Contestant number three. Friendship Award contestant number three, Isabella Edge, sponsored by SFA Pubs. She decided to go for a walk. Thank you, Isabella. And that's our Isabella. Yeah. Lovely dress, Isabella. Okay, the next one is a very important award for me, and it's my late mum's award. The Anna Lisa Rest Award. And this year, more important than ever, because tonight at midnight will be her birthday. So it's very, very special. <laughs> so the Anna Lisa Ressa Award is awarded to the contestants who has helped mobile community with bills for the local charities. And this is contestant number two, Adele Vallejo, sponsored by 1704 Morocco Fan Products. Presser Award, contestant number two, Adele Bagnetto, sponsored by 1704 Morocco Finest Products. And the Ideal Productions Award is given to the contestant that we feel has evolved more throughout the time that she spent with us. And that award, the Ideal Productions Award goes to contestant number nine, Neha Rubani. Sponsored by Urban Comfort and Town. Ideal Productions Award, contestant number nine, Neha Rubani, sponsored by Earth and Comfort and Town Souls. Next, the Photogenic Award, voted by in-house photographer John Howard. And it goes to contestant number 10, Angela Traverso, sponsored by Trans Gibraltar. To Jimmy Ward, contestant number 10, Angela Traverso, sponsored by Trent Gibraltar. Thank you, Angela. Congratulations. The Your Gibraltar TV Award, voted by a very young Giovanna Durante, awarded to the contestant who has given her best interview. 
appreciate it. Contestant number eight, Dodgy Bird, sponsored by OSG. Your best interview. The YGTV Award for Best Interview, contestant number eight, Gonchi Bird, sponsored by OSG. The Catwalk Award, voted by the panel of judges, is awarded to contestant number five, Sharon Davis, sponsored by Unco. Patrick Award, contestant number five, Sharon Davis, sponsored by Amco. Congratulations. And last but not least, we have the Elegance Award. And this is awarded to contestant number seven, Rosanna McGilvery, sponsored by Jim Cargo. The Elegance Award, contestant number seven, Rosanna McGilvery, sponsored by Chip Cargo. Thank you. Congratulations. And now for the three top prizes, we would like to call onto the stage His Worship the Mayor, who has accepted to give out the prizes. Okay, so I just need to mention the prizes for the second princess. It's a voucher from Ocean Medical Clinic, a basket from Star of India, sash and trophy sponsored by Cricket. First princess, voucher from Ocean Medical Clinic, a basket from Star of India, sash and trophy also sponsored by Cricket. And Mrs. Rota Classic will receive a voucher from Ocean Medical Clinic, a night stay at the Sanborn Luxury Hotel, a basket from Star of India and vouchers from Monique, Fresca, Gelatino, Panimu. So, that will be the third prizes. That said, the moment has arrived. We would like to call a very important person, and she is Mrs. Golden Classic Princess, Panina Ferrari. Contestant number eight, Gonchi Bird. And she's sponsored by OSG. Hello, 
a second princess. Let's get your crown. Please get your, your tiara, won't you? Please go to Palmina, she will crown you. <laughs> Congratulations. Second princess, won't you third sponsored by OSG. Okay, let's move. First princess. First princess, Mrs. Gibraltar Class in 2022 is. Contestant number three, Isabella Edge, sponsored by SFA Pops. First Princess, Mrs. Gibraltar Classic 2022, Isabella Edge, sponsored by SFA Pops. Congratulations, Isabella. Let's go to Palmina. I mean, I will tell you. Palmina, Palmina, before you leave, please, we would like to present you. Thank you very much for you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, Thank side. you Palmina. Side. Now, please welcome back a very, very important lady, the first ever Mrs. Gibraltar Classic. Mrs. Gibraltar Classic 2021, Jackie Rivedo. Good evening, Jacqueline. Good evening, Angel. Jacqueline, would you like to say any last words of good luck to the ladies? Good luck to, to the same beautiful contestant. And I'm so nervous for them. Very excited. <laughs> She's been very, very excited all day. Thank you very much, Jackie. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Okay, so you please take your position. Now, for the winner. Mrs. Mrs. Golden Classic 2022, 2022 is... Contestant number 10, 10 Angela Travesso, sponsored by Trans Gibraltar. <laughs> Mrs. Gibraltar 2022, contestant number 10, Angela Travesso, sponsored by Trans Gibraltar. Volta 2022, contest number 10, Angela Calaverso. Angela, can you please come down for the crowning?
Ivy for all you've done in the past year. So there you have it. The two winners. All winners. Mrs. Chibota, please take the first walk as a Mrs. Chibota 2022. Angela, please. Contest number 10, Angela Granosa, sponsored by Train, followed by First Princess, Isabella Edge, sponsored by SFA Cards, Second Princess, Bronchi Bird, sponsored by OSG. There you have them, ladies and gentlemen, our top three for 2022. Thank you very much. Second princess, got you first. First princess, Isabella Edge. And Mrs. Gibraltar Classic 2022, Angela Traverso. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a pleasure being your host tonight. On behalf of My Deal Productions, we thank you for once again coming to front. We hope you enjoy the show, and hopefully we'll see you all very soon. Thank you very much, and good night. Hope you enjoyed the show.